If you like my content and you'd like to treat me with a pizza for it, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Hey number ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and today I am here to challenge the impossible. So whenever we talk about full play time, or whether it be a discussion that we're having historically speaking or whether we're talking about historical reenactment, we often hear this sentence and then we repeat it. It is impossible to put on your entire full plate harness on your own, meaning that every reenactor worth his salt will know that you know you can easily put on your leg harness and I would say that the majority of historical reenactors do that on their own, but then you need help to put on the rest of the armor, particularly with pointing your arms and shoulders, but generally speaking, even just to put on your breastplate, backplate and fold because of all the different straps that you've got bo both on the side and on the back. Oftentimes we say with unless you have someone to help you, you cannot put on full plate armor is impossible. Now with this video I'm actually going to challenge this statement. Mind you, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying that what I'm about to do is historical. I'm not saying that what I'm about to do is trying to challenge the correct idea that knights had pages and squires that were actually helping them, you know, in the sense of how a man shall be armed. But what I'm trying to say is that I think that the word impossible is incorrect. We shouldn't really use it because I believe, and I still have to test it, and I'm going to test it with you, but I believe that I can put on the entirety of the full set of armor on my own. I don't think it's impossible. It's going to be awkward. It's probably not going to be simple. I'm probably going to have to do some crazy stuff to do it. I've got a plan in my mind, particularly for the uh, buckles and straps in, the, in my back, but I believe it can be done. So what I'm trying to say with this video is, sure, in 95% of cases, knights had someone to help them, but maybe there will be situations, and I will tell you a situation where I think this, what I'm about to do, could make sense, and I'll say it after the thing, so definitely stick until the end because it's going to get really fun. But I think that there could be one or two instances that maybe really did happen historically when a knight found himself in a position where his squires weren't there and he had to put on the armor. Could he do it? That's the question. Is it really impossible? Let's find out. Okay, this is what we've got to work with and the sort of full plate armor that I'm going to put on. I'm going to talk about some of the problems and the resulting problem solving. Here is the breastplate that you can see is attached through the means of this leather strap in the front of the placard. And this is the back, which is going to be one of the most problematic ones, but we'll see what I can come up with. This is basically what we are trying to achieve here. And then we've got the sides of the placket and the fold, uh, as you can see, are attached by the means of these. And this is the strap on the top of the breastplate on the right side, which needs to be open. Otherwise, I can't put it on, but then I'll have to fasten it. And this is the right side of my breastplate. This is going to be one of the hardest because I need to align it properly. And I also need to make sure to uh, put the strap nice and tight to make sure that it stays in place. And uh, this is what I'm going to do for my shoulder plates. I'm going to attach them directly to the top. So um, here we go. So we're going to start by separating my breastplate from the rest of the fold and placard uh, this way here. And uh, as you can see, I'm just going to need to find some space. I'm going to put the placard and fold on oh, very open. As you can see, it needs to be open. Otherwise, it doesn't work on the floor. And we'll see why in a minute. So let's begin with my breastplate. As you can see, the right side is completely open because otherwise my head won't fit. So uh, the shoulder here is the, uh, the the leather strap on the right is going to be a little problematic, but shouldn't be too bad in my opinion. So the left side, as you can see, instead is completely shut, and that's also important. So I'm going to slide my left arm in here, and I'm going to put it over my head. And I'm going to it's going to be a little awkward because of my long hair here, but I mean, I mean, I could have just uh, done a little ponytail perhaps that would have been better but as you can see now the breastplate and backplate are in position so what i need to do is that i need to start by attaching this strap which to be honest i mean it takes a little practice but it's not difficult to do i mean i could do it i want to say after just a few seconds as you can see boom and now i can just pull it so that it's nice and tight and i just need to make sure that i fit it in the hole and there you go. So the top right is now attached correctly. So now we need to start working on the right side and I'm just going to put myself here so you can see what I'm going to do. But first I need to make sure it's properly aligned and there is a little pin there that needs to go inside the hole. Uh, and this it's, it's not the same in every breastplate, but in my uh, breastplate, this is how it works, which is based on the Mantova B1. And this is not too, but there you go. You could hear the sound, it matched. It only took a little, a few seconds. Now this is probably one of the most 
awkward part here because attaching the side and probably I could have just placed a second hole uh, somewhere closer but uh, with a little bit of extra work boom it was done I mean it wasn't too difficult it was awkward but it wasn't too bad so as you can see the breastplate and backplate now are attached correctly and uh, just as if I had a squire do it it was a little awkward but not impossible so what i'm going to do for the placket now and for in order for this to work it needs to be very open uh, widely open and nothing needs to be attached i'm just gonna bring it up as you can see i'm going to show you from a different perspective as well but what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to slide it up and if your placket and fold is very very close fitting you might need to find a different way maybe open it a bit more but as you can see with mine which is a little little large this wasn't too difficult then I'm using a table you don't really need to it just makes it easier and I'm gonna strap the front which is the easy part and I, I could have done it without using the table but it was a little easier if I have a piece of furniture so the front is attached now uh, remember that the sides are still open and now we need to start working on the back now for the back uh, before I do the back I need to make sure because you can see the back is not done and so it's not properly aligned so I need to bring it up and make sure that there is a correct overlap on the side so i do want to kind of do at least one like the first leather strap on the sides and now it's the time for the back and i'm not using the table this time i'm just holding it up with my right hand and i'm using my left hand to reach in the back and then i just need to do this which i thought would have been actually harder it wasn't that hard and i've only practiced it like a couple of times so boom now i just need to bring it up and place it correctly make sure it's nice and high and uh, just uh, attach it which you can see I was able to do and boom placket and fold are all correctly attached uh, now I'm just stretching a little bit uh, and I, I am flexible so that helps but you can see this was not a problem uh, it wasn't too much of a problem, it just took me a few seconds. So now I'm going to do the sides, but the sides are a joke compared to the side of the uh, breastplate, which was harder because it's higher. Uh, these are pretty low, and so they're actually quite easy to do. Um, they do require sometimes, like, because they're nice and tight, so they do take a little time, but not too bad. And now, as you can see, breastplate, backplate, fold, and placket are all correctly installed, and I did not need any help from anyone so this already kind of debunks the first myth the most important part of the armor i could do it on my own so what about the arms the arms are difficult because i need to point them but i have an idea and i have a plan so first i'm going to slide the arm inside uh, just normal and i'm going to attach the uh, leather strap connector that it's usually uh, of course at the uh, area where my uh, elbow is and this one is very easy to do uh, as you could see i could do it no problem the problem is um is this so basically using these points but okay so this one i sped it up a little bit because i could do it the only thing is that it took longer than i than it needed to simply because i the holes are still not big enough and so i needed to force them in but this takes time even when i have a quote-unquote squire so i just sped it up because of that it, it wouldn't have taken me that long if, if it was properly done I still have to kind of fix that but now I am trying to bring it up as high as I can and then I need to use my teeth to actually create the first knot and once the first knot is done I'm gonna create a second knot and then the weight of the armor itself will tighten the knot this is what's amazing about this and so of course it's not as high as it would have been if a squire had helped me I'm not saying that this is optimal of course but still as you can see I could point my own frigging arm and I would not say it's not bad look at that I've got good mobility I can definitely operate my weapon and I can wield any weapon and and as I say perhaps it should have been a little higher but it's pointed it's pointed I can use it so let's see now if I can point the other arm even though my right arm is now uh, has got a, a full plate arm on it and I want to say as far as the strap is concerned this changes absolutely nothing it does make it a little awkward when it comes to actually pointing it but it's pretty much the same situation and as you can see the uh, right arm is still allowing me quite a lot of mobility and the right arm in my asymmetrical system the left one is bigger so that's why I decided to go for the right one first but then again I could do the same thing on the left arm as you can see pointed and I can use it no problem
and we will call this the first configuration that I'm going without shoulder plates. I'm going to do the shoulders in a minute, but you know, a lot of knights actually chose not to wear the big pauldrons and in a situation of an emergency, it could make sense that I just do my arms, don't do my pauldrons, put on my helmet and I'm ready to go. But what about the actual pauldrons? What if I want the pauldrons? Well, what I'm gonna do, my plan is, I'm gonna attach the pauldrons to the breastplate and backplate first, before I put it on, and then I'll put it on. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit of uh, acrobatic, I think, but let's see if I can manage. As always, please notice that the right strap is not attached because otherwise I can't fit my head. So the right pauldron now is sort of in the front, if you will. And there you go. Now, this is a little bit awkward uh, also because I needed to attach the straps in the pauldrons, the ones that you see at the bottom of the pauldrons. I needed to do them before because otherwise those are impossible to do once the pauldrons are on. So as you can see, I took a little bit of squishing uh, inside. But at the end of the day, I did manage to put on the armor. So can I close it now and how will it look at the end? As you can see, I'm putting my arm inside the loop. The thing is closed and attached properly. And I wanna say that it's a big success. The pauldrons are attached, my breastplate is attached, and then for the side, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did uh, beforehand. But this is just to show you, yes, I could wear my pauldrons if I attach them before I put on the breastplate. It is a little awkward, but it is doable. So let's put on the placket and fold so we see it in a more complete fashion. Now, could I have done this while my arms were already attached? Probably not. Um, so you kind of, in this scenario, kind of have to choose, do I have the arms but no pauldrons, or do I have the pauldrons but no arms? I mean, maybe I could pull it off, and that's probably because of the fact that my 15th century uh, armor has got l big protection for the elbow part, which wouldn't really slide inside the leather straps of my pauldrons at the bottom. But if I was wearing 16th century armor, Maybe, maybe I could pull that one off. Okay, so first a myth debunked. It is not mechanically impossible to put on your own set of armor. Now, given, I'm sure that it would be better to have someone with you. Uh, I'm sure that maybe my points would have been further up and it would have been done better. But uh, still, on the other hand, though, I, I think it's fine. And if it were me in that situation, probably I would be wearing my breastplate, backplate and fold rather than trying to point my arms the way I did. The only reason why I did it was just to prove that it can be done not really to say that I would choose to do so, uh, but still I would put on my breastplate back and fold the way I did because that wasn't difficult at all. Um, and of course, again, depending on the sort, as I did mention, depending on the sort of fit you have, it could become harder or easier, but still I think it's, it's wrong to use the word, it's impossible. Now, what is a, a scenario in which a, something like this could happen. Well, let's say that you are a knight, you're a nobleman, and you've got, uh, you know, perhaps you're sleeping and then you're woken by this noise and then you hear that people are trying to get into your castle. They're breaking through the door, something happened, someone betrayed you, and your squires and pages are all dead. You've got no, no one and you're about to go to have to fight. You do have some time because it's going to take them some time to kick the door down. Uh, it's, it's properly closed and everything, it's boarded up, and so uh, you still have time. So you, you, you gather your weapons, you find your sword, and finally, luckily, you've got access to the room where you've got your plate armor. Are you going to be able to put it on your own? And my opinion is yes. Now, of course, it depends on how much time you have, but let's say that you do have enough time. Can you put it on? And with this video, we just proved that you could. So has this ever happened historically? It is possible. Maybe he didn't dress up entirely, but perhaps he did put on breastplate, backplate and fold just like I did. Uh, because at the end of the day, that is going to protect the core of your body, the center of mass, and it's going to dramatically increase your uh, chances of of staying alive. Of course, running away maybe will be the better option. Uh, maybe you could just, you know, put it on and go into the whatever secret tunnel, open the hatch and run away through the underground passage. There are lots of different possibilities to this scenario. But if you thought, you know, I'm going to have to fight. It's going to be a life to death fighting. I'm outnumbered. There's three of them. I don't know. Something happened. Um, 
and I do have the time, am I going to put on the armor on my own or am I just going to say, oh no, it's impossible because my squires are not here? Well, I think he would try also because as we have just pointed out, it is possible. So that's really the scenario that I that I have in mind, but I would like to have your opinion. So we have ju just now demonstrated that it can be done. Do you think it, this something like this could have actually happened historically? Well, in my opinion, it could have also because knights would have been extremely familiar with their suits of armor, probably a lot more than we are familiar with their own suits of armor as reenactors and as people who enjoy medieval armor. And in my case, I've only had this armor for about a couple of months. Maybe it's not even two months, and I've already figured out a way to put it on my own. So maybe people back then, maybe professional men at arms knew how to do it, who knows? You know, not everyone was a noble knight, and there were a lot of people that were wearing armor like crossbowmen and archers, and of course you can help each other out when you are, you know, soldiers in the camp, but maybe something happened, maybe someone figured out, hey, I just need to, you know, kind of put my hand behind my back and I can attach my, my own fold. I, I think it must have happened with thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people using it throughout the ages, using armor. Uh, maybe someone did it and someone else noticed that and they're like, oh, so you don't need anyone to help you uh, fasten the thing in the back. So that's that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to do it myself today. Maybe maybe your friend is busy. Maybe you, you, you're you in a rush. Uh, perhaps they forgot about you. They're leaving behind. They're leaving you behind. You need to rush. Perhaps you just do that as you gather your stuff and you move forward. I believe it could have happened. So uh, what do you think? Let me know, of course, in the comments below. All right, noble ones. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you're not yet members of this community, become a noble one. Subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.